app developers will be able to put models into the app itself and run it on the phone. So what does that mean? You get access to the intelligence of an LLM within your mobile app without having to go to someone like OpenAI servers. And that's beneficial for multiple reasons. Actually, I'll discuss three. One is you don't have to send the data over to someone else's service, so it can be faster. You can get immediate responses from your phone. Two, you've got the privacy issues. You don't actually have to go and send the data off to someone else and worry that it's going to then be trained on their model. Like you've got the model. It stays on your phone. It can't actually physically go to someone else's service to retrain the model. So you, you, you solve the privacy issue, but you also solve the connectivity issue, whereby maybe not a big issue for most people who say, well, I've always got access to my 4G or 5G, I've got unlimited data, it doesn't matter. While that's true for a lot of people, there are some parts of the world where they still don't have good access to the internet, but there's also industries like what we're both in, in construction, whereby if you're in a basement or construction site, unless it's a big site that's set up Wi-Fi down there, you don't have access to the internet. And so in my space, I find this really fascinating because we can actually provide answers to people via the model. And so if our software is using LLMs on the background to help people make decisions and, and do their job better, we can actually start to do that through an app now and not have to be connected to the internet, which is really exciting.